Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my channel and today I have a haul. It's gonna be a two part because I'm waiting for some stuff that I don't have yet. And I also have some AliExpress stuff, but seriously, today I was just not in the mood to try clothes on. Okay guys, I got a lot of attention on my channel this week. I wanted to thank you so much for all the great feedback. It was amazing, thank you. I got loads of new subscribers. Welcome to everyone and thank you so much. By the way, let me just warn you, I'm not in the greatest mood, so if I come off a bit rude, I'm not rude, I'm just not in the greatest mood, okay? Because it's like, I try to film, my fiance is out of work today, uh, he's on my back, he's doing noise, no, right now he's doing noise, ask him not to do noise, he's doing noise, like, how is that okay? It's not okay, is it? Okay. So, next. Uh, I got these boots from Zara, I'm not gonna try them on, I'm just gonna add a picture of me wearing them. I absolutely always liked this, uh, this style of boot, but I never found ones I really loved. And they are from uh, Zara, I'm gonna link them in the down bar below. They actually also are real leather and they were from the special price range. Keep in mind that um, they are true to size and I just touched the bottom, that is absolutely disgusting. They are true to size, and uh, but they do make your feet look bigger. I am at 37 uh, euro and I did feel like my feet were bigger. I actually think they are perfect travel boots to put on the plane. And uh, actually when I was wearing them, when I went to Italy, someone at the airport stopped me to take a picture of them. And what happened to them? I kind of scuffed them and I also licked them and that's just disgusting, but whatever. The next fashion item I got is a hat. I'm not gonna try it on because I just like kind of did my hair. I feel like I, I look too gothic with this hair color. So yeah, I got a hat, this one. The New York New Era hat. I, you know, when I buy these hats, I'm usually like always thinking that they will look great with a jumper, jeans, uh, sneakers. But at the end, I always end up uh, wearing my hats only to the gym exclusively. Um, yeah, because I am not into this middle kind of style. I'm all glam or sportswear. I'm nowhere in the middle ever. Like, I'm not casual. That's what I wanted to say. Or very rarely anyway. Okay, next. So I was in the mood to buy a perfume. And uh, one of my favorite uh, websites called Import Parfum. I don't know if you have it in your country, wherever you are. Um, a lot of people always recommended me, when I talk about Siri Mugler, Angel Muse. I do not like Angel whatsoever. I tried it in a shop the other day and I still don't like it. But everyone always recommended Angel Muse. I remember smelling Angel Muse and not liking it. Not hating it as much as Angel Original, but not liking it either. And I was hesit hesitant in between ordering Angel Muse or, er er or Alien Essence Absolue. I already owned uh, Alien Essence Absolue and I know I really liked it, but it was more of a winter fragrance. So I got myself Angel Muse. So I have it uh, since uh, uh, this morning. Uh, I can already tell you it has a great lasting power because um, I sprayed it this morning, I went to the gym, I took a, a shower and I clearly can still smell it. It's really, really strong. Um, I feel like to review a fragrance you need to have it for a while, like at least like a week or so, wear it for a few days, um, really like not respray it during the day, to, to really have time to kind of know the fragrance because I feel like you cannot do a review just by getting it the day off. But it smells basically like a mature version of Nutella. It's a gourmand perfume. I feel like I would like it more if it had less angel in it. I'm not stupid. I know it's called Angel Muse. So I know it's going to have some angel in it. But I feel like it had less of angel. It does smell like chocolate, nuts and a little bit smoky too. So yeah. I feel like it is not a perfume I'm gonna reach for a lot. Let's see, but I feel like I'm gonna reach for it more in winter. I do like it, 
Do I love it? I do not know yet. Uh, my favorite gourmand perfume is definitely by Dior and it's called Hypnotic Poison. So I got like the gift set like this. I think it looks pretty cute. So yeah. I'm so annoyed that my eye is twitching. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna publish this or should I refilm it, I don't know. Look guys, if you love me, you have to see me in every mood. And by the way also, um, as I got so many like feedback, like following how to say, yeah, I also got loads of like shitty comments that I look fake, that like where is natural beauty, like guys, if you want to be natural, be natural. I don't give a flying fuck. Seriously. Like, I'm only talking to this minority of haters. Like, I don't give a flying fuck. If you want to be natural, be natural, okay? And follow natural YouTubers. And I don't feel like I'm that fake anyway, but whatever. Like, literally, whatever. I went into uh, a, a store here in Switzerland called Sun Store, and they had all their Maybelline discounted. So I got these two glosses that I'm wearing today. I got the liquid lipstick Superstay Matte Ink in the color 75 Fighter. It's too dark for me at the moment, but I'm sure I will like it a lot more when I will be tanner. It's like a, um, how to say, brick brown-ish color with an orange tint to it. I really, really like this kind of color. I don't know how to explain it, like this really rich, like ginger chocolate brown. Well, I have it like on the corners. Then I got this called um, Vivid Hot Lacquer in the color 64 Unreal. I have it on top today. This is really, really pretty. It's just more like a neutral tone, brownish, uh, pretty opaque gloss. And uh, yeah, got this. Then Castor oil. So I use it mainly be because uh, I don't know if you know that castor oil is supposed to be good for your uh, hair, eyebrows, eyelashes. I'm not too sure about it if I'm honest because I use uh, eyelash serums and I feel like those like really work really, really well. And uh, I use this before I remove my, my makeup. I put it on my eyes and eyebrows. So it already melts the makeup and I feel like the good ingredients of it may help a little bit with my eyelash and eyebrow condition. So yeah, and also when I do nothing during the day, I just slap it on on my eyebrows and eyelashes. So yeah, I got castor oil and it's vegan, 100% natural and etc. Then I got EOS lip balms. So um, I got this one that smells absolutely amazing. I really, really like it. It's called, uh, I don't know which, I think this is one, ugh, I cannot talk. I think this one was the one that had a uh, grapefruit in it. And it smells amazing, smells of grapefruit. And this one has uh, sun protection, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is cucumber melon. I really like cucumber stuff usually. You know, I saw an April joke that like some brand would release a cucumber palette. And I was like, I'm gonna add a picture. And the eyeshadows were green. So I was like, oh, such a shame that the eyeshadows are green because I don't like green eyeshadows, but I would like actually the cucumber smell. Cause I absolutely love cucumber's pickle smell. Excuse me, pickle. But yeah. I don't know, for Russians it's not really a good April joke because we like pickles a lot. And this smells like pickles and melon. Unfortunately, the melon is too much. I just wanted it to smell like pickles. Yeah, no. So I gave this to my fiancé. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say it. I do not like EOS lip balms. I already knew I did not like them. They are not as moisturizing as a cheap Carmex lip balm. But I just think that like applying them is super cute and I'm always like without makeup at the gym and I think it's just like cute. So the packaging, 10, efficacy, 4, okay? Then, and after that, how can I say I'm not superficial? Okay, 
Then I got uh, backups for my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer of my life, of all time, forever and ever. And I got it in uh, the usual co color that I use. By the way, I went through it very, very quickly. I never go uh, through stuff as quick as I go through that. I usually have the color bronzer, which is this color, but I thought I would get the shade darker, which is deep bronzer. And they are almost the same shade. Um, I would say the deep bronzer is just a little bit cooler and uh, just a little bit um, darker. But this like is not a deep bronzer at all. It would feel, I cannot talk, it would fit my fair skin without any problem. Well, I'm not fair, I'm more like light medium, but I mean like when I have a tan, this would be perfect for me. I mean, if you're NC30+, plus, I would go for the deep over the bronzer because you would need to use less of it. Well, I actually never tried it yet, but like, yeah. They look really, really similar in color and I'm pretty sure the formula is the same. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna put these products away in case when I edit this video, I realize it's absolute shit and I have to redo it. But yeah, guys, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your love and support and everything. Please subscribe to my channel if you didn't. Please like this video. Uh, I will link you in the I will link you in the down bar below the most products I can and I see you in my next one. Bye.